number 16, The Intellectual Standard of Clarity. Capers, C-A-P-R-S, are double DBL in science fiction, F. The first standard, clarity. Dr. Richard Paul calls the standard of clarity the gateway standard. This makes perfect sense. Clarity means we know the parameters of that which we are exploring. We can see it clearly, that it is understood by all the members of the group, that the definition being used is common to all. Without achieving clarity, how do we know what it is we are truly talking about? With the concept of clarity, we can ask, are our purposes clear? Have we clearly formulated the question? Is the information gathered clear? We can apply this standard to all the elements of reasoning. We can even apply this standard to the other standards. Is this direction in our thinking clearly relevant to our purpose? To reason well, you must achieve the kind of clarity necessary to fulfill the purpose of your reasoning. The opposite of clarity is murkiness. Murky thinking is of little use to those who are attempting to honestly reason. However, in the hands of a sophist, lack of clarity becomes a weapon. Sophists may try and confuse or conceal or conflate with purposeful murkiness. Apply this murkiness subtly enough or quickly enough, and the reasoner is thrown off guard, confused, placed off balance. Achieving clarity can help defeat manipulators. In fact, it is one way to positively identify you are dealing with someone utilizing manipulation or sophistic reasoning. A true sophist, one doing so purposefully, knows he or she cannot be entirely clear. Sophistry is based upon something distorted, something not entirely clear. They will resist clarity, or they will quickly gloss over that which is unclear, or call the unclear clear enough. They may act as though it is clear, and you're stupid for questioning it. But those who honestly reason seek clarity. Clarity, the gateway standard, is the first of the nine intellectual standards of reasoning. Without it, it makes little sense to continue. Some level of clarity must first be achieved if our reasoning is to be sound enough to be useful at all to the thinker. Remember that utilizing the standards is how we improve our reasoning in the first place. It's how we make it better. We are attempting to make our reasoning clearer, more accurate, or more precise, etc., we are adding a layer of criticality to our thinking with standards. The standards can be applied to all the fundamental elements of reasoning and to the standards themselves. Knowledge of the importance of clarity can arm you against those who would use murky thinking to manipulate you. In the next presentation, number 17 out of 34, we will explore the standard of accuracy.